दिस इज जस्ट अ प्रोटोटाइप क्रिएटेड इन अडोबी एक्स टी इट्स अमेजिंग ना सो लेट्स फाइंड आउट दैट हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट सिमिलर प्रोटोटाइप इन अडोबी एक्स टी सो देर इज अनदर स्क्रीन एंड हेयर आई हैव टू कंपोनेंट्स the one is the drop down menu and the second one is where we have to click and then we will get the drop down menu so when you are done with these two components so let's find that how we can create a drop down animation or a prototype so this can be done using the component feature in adobe xd so let's make this one a component a default state okay so now we have to create two more states let's create two more states so this is a new state and let's rename it as drop down menu okay and create another one new state so this one for example we want to select birthday celebration so this one is the birthday celebration state so i want then when i will tap or when the user will tap on this arrow or anywhere on this box this drop down menu appears and when he will click on this birthday celebration this birthday celebration will be replaced with this wedding ceremony so now all these states are very similar there is no change so let's make this state cut this component so i just pressed command x so i really want to paste inside this state so let's single click and then double click okay so now you can see that an element inside this state has been selected so let's paste that drop down menu and there you can see a very thin green border has been extended to this drop down menu okay so let's change the state click default state so this is our default state and let's click on this drop down menu so this is a drop down menu state and now we have to change this state as birthday celebration so you can write birthday celebration so this is the third state right so when i click this specific component i can see that it has three kind of states the one default state that is the wedding ceremony the second one is drop down menu and the third one is birthday celebration now how we can uh, activate the prototypes so let's go to prototype section and just click on this arrow and there you can see that it is going nowhere it is just staying in the air and i want this state that when i will tap on it it has to so the destination so let's choose the destination first so when the user will tap on this component let's choose the destination and the destination is drop down menu so the drop down menu is the second state of this component let's make it transition so we do not want any kind of animations and the trigger is tap right so it looks good so let's come to the second state so now we have to set the transition on this specific text just click on this arrow and now we have to set the properties let's choose the destination first and this is going to be the birthday celebration okay and nothing else so it looks good it looks good so let's go back to the design 
and make it default state so now let's play with the uh, now let's test our prototype so just click on the artboard name and click on this play button so we have the default state and when I will click on it so the state has been changed right so there is an there is uh, something wrong that the arrow of the text below this drop down menu is displayed on this one so let's so what we have to do is just change the state right click and bring to front okay and so let's make it back to the default state click on the artboard name click the play button and now when i click on it i have the drop down menu and when i will tap on birthday celebration so the third state has been displayed on my uh, this screen so this is how you can play with these drop down menus and you can create very similar interactions by using states and the component feature in node bxt so do share your results with me uh, see you in the next lesson thank you so much Thank you.